Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here, the van man, and guys, I love it. Got another Class B camper van today that will probably be sold in the next 24 hours, if not sooner. Guys, this is a 2007 Gulfstream Vista Cruiser MB Edition built on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis. Last year of the 2.7 five-cylinder Mercedes turbo diesel inline five that as most of you diesel enthusiasts know especially if you follow the sprinter vans is the motor everybody wants free def 22 miles per gallon designed with a 500,000 mile practical service life and of course they went after this year if I'm not mistaken they went to the three liter v6 turbo diesel which is still a great motor a lot more electronic stuff that goes wrong and, and uh, that's the ones that always have the check engine lights and all that stuff. So, uh, but yeah, guys, this is a beautiful van. Vista Cruiser MB Edition. I did one of these a couple months ago. It sold in hours and this one probably will too. 2007, got the 2.5 Onan LP generator running right now. The van looks great. I mean, you've got a little bit of uh, stripe issues here and there because it is 14 year old van. But um, one thing that Gulfstream does is they put these pop outs on each side of the van. And the purpose of these pop outs is so they can be the only class B van in a Sprinter chassis with an actual king size bed. It has a 70, it's a side mounted 74 inch wide 80 inch long king bed because it's got these pop outs on each side. Now the previous owners put what they call an Eterna Bond strip. This is actually supposed to be on the roofs of them. I used to, uh, uh, when I was about 12 years old, one of the first things I learned to do about working on RVs when my grandfather had the RV dealership. Back then all RVs had metal roofs and you always put this down on a metal roof on the seams. And it's there for life. And that was one of the first things I did was put was installing these Eterna bonds because that's something you wanted to see over not seeing. Now for some, I don't know if they had a leak problem here at one time. It may not be the prettiest thing in the world, guys, but that leak problem solved. This thing's not going to leak with that stuff on there, and it's it's there. Um, is that what I would have done? Probably not, but it's been done. Nothing you can really do about it. That stuff's just about impossible to take off without leaving a. A huge residue um, that's all that's pretty much impossible to get off so it's there and I'm just letting you know about it guys because it is an 07 it's not a perfect van but by gosh guys these things are just so hard to find got a tow hitch on the back now these things are rated for 5,000 pounds do I recommend towing 5,000 pounds maybe on a very short distance but I would say keep it under 3,500 pounds. And I know the factory says 5,000. I'm just talking to you from personal experience. Got the other pop out here. This side doesn't have the Eterna Bond strip on it. Firestone tires, which were the tires I would put on if it was mine. It's got the running boards, got the Euro style windows that pop out. Um, got 114,000 miles. Again, guys, if you know these Mercedes Benz, and I know it says Dodge, guys. Many of you remember up till 2012, Mercedes owned Dodge and Freightliner, as well as Chrysler, Jeep, and all the other ones. So the Sprinter is the Mercedes Benz Sprinter chassis. The only thing Dodge made is the emblem. That's it. You put a Mercedes Benz Sprinter grill and an emblem on the front you would never tell the difference between it and a Sprinter, inside or outside. And um, same motor, same transmission, same drivetrain. It's a 2,500 Sprinter. 21 and a half feet long, like all of them are. 114,000 miles, but guys, again, Mercedes-Benz designed this chassis, this motor, to have an average practical service life, which means you can get more out of it, but with a 500,000 pound or 500,000 mile average service life to be practical. I know commercial vans and stuff like that, they don't even start trying to sell these till they get three and 400,000 miles on them. 
and uh, this one with 114 is not even broken in no check engine lights dash air is cold um wow got the uh crank out horizon awning it is missing a couple of the decorative covers on the end but it doesn't affect the usability of it got a sliding door it is missing also the little rubber step right here on the passenger seat which those are notorious for coming off i love this about the sprinter vans and i wish the the american vans had this that is a sliding door because seven and a half foot wide so a lot of times you're in a small parking lot and it's there's people on each side of you and they're in bigger vehicles you know with a traditional just a regular door you have a hard time getting in and out of it without scraping their vehicle this one you just need three or four inches for that door to clear and you can get in and out even if you're the drivers or passenger so um 2.75 cylinders look inside my gosh it cools off quick in these things guys because you've got a lot of air conditioner between the front and the roof air for a little space and um really cool floor plan and that you can close that with two fingers by the way that's very very easy door to open and close start here in the front cab and what i like about it is this is one of the few cabs because i'm six foot four 300 pounds is that i can actually get in and out of the driver's seat slide in and out with minimum effort to go from the front to the back you know on a ford or a chevrolet or a dodge I, I have to get out the driver's door and go through the um through the side door this one guys i, I can just i mean i can just i can almost stand up till i get to right here and just sit down i mean it'll take just a second uh 114,000 735 everything looks good it's about 95 degrees well 87 now so the uh, there's some clouds overhead um, the dash looks great looks like they had at one time some stuff on the dash like a compass or a gps or whatever uh, pioneer cd player uh, dash air blowing cold i mean we're sitting here at idle and uh, It'll actually drop as we drive down the road, but you can see we're getting into the 50s. Um, of course, it, you know, these Mercedes vans have the four wheel ABS, they have the um, traction control built in, anti roll technology. A lot of technology in this van for an 07. It's, it's technically an 06 uh, chassis, but it's an 07 van. All motorhomes are built on Euro chassis. Um, definitely I like the rubber mat up here because this is the part that gets the dirtiest getting in and out cup holders plastics look good nothing's cracked um, no check engine lights guys this is the one of the only motor homes that I know of that actually rate the miles per gallon on their sales brochures 22 miles per gallon now are you always going to get 22 of course not I'm sure that's in controlled conditions at a lower rate of speed however you should be able to maintain depending you know, unless you drive 100 miles an hour and yeah we are going to drive it later by the way in the video so you can see how much power you would be surprised 154 horsepower motor how much power this thing has i mean it will really surprise you but you know average driving cruise control interstate 65 to 70 you'll get close to 20 maybe even maybe even right at 20 um, you know, you go down the mountains, you might drop it down to 17 or 18, but guys, that's incredible mileage for any motorhome. I don't care who you are, um, what you drive, full-size SUVs and pickup trucks don't get the fuel mileage that this, that this fully and self-contained Class B camper van does. So, um, makes it very economical to drive from a motorhome standpoint. Now, is it, you know, if you're, if that's not good enough fuel mileage for you, my, my suggestion buy a honda civic stay in a hotel room or buy a honda and put a tent and a sleeping bag in the trunk of it because that's the only way you're going to get much any more mileage in something you're going to camp in uh seats are leather they look great um wow for 57.9 guys this thing is is going to be gone this time tomorrow uh y'all remember that last one i had and it was three years older than this and it was 49.9 the airstream um 
I could have sold 10 of those. In fact, I'll probably sell this to one of the ones that missed out on the Airstream. And in some ways, I actually like this floor plan. You know, the other one had a rear kitchen. I like the stationary bed. Just depends on how much cooking you do. But you still got a decent sized kitchen on the side. Uh, both these front seats swivel around, by the way. You've got a table with two booster seats back there for two adults. And then, of course, you can swivel these chairs around and use it to seat two more. And you can use this table for a desk, for an office, whatever you need to do. And again, guys, besides a little tight squeeze right here, I can flip around and, and get right out of that. Get my thermometer so I can show you the air works. And we go to the back, there's no smoke or pet odors. Got some nice cabinetry. Um, it's a G24 floor plan too, guys. Forgot to mention that. G24. And one thing that's cool about this, you see most of these Vistas had a uh, water heater, a water warmer, not a heater, because it's certainly not hot, that would only heat the water up 30 degrees above ambient temperature outside. So in other words, if it was 50 degrees, you got 80 degree water. This one has actually got, and I don't know if it was special ordered this way or they ran out, or Gulfstream ran out of the, of the electric water heaters, but they went ahead and put in a six gallon DSI gas electric RV water heater. So you can get hotter water out of it than you can stand and get more of it too. And, 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 and in propane mode, I mean, it'll heat the water up almost as fast as you use it on propane. And you can run it on electric in between your showers or if you're hooked into shore power. I like the way they've got these counter saver um, sinks. Just lower that down, lower that down. You've got more food prep area. Lots of storage in this van. Um, sit that right there. I mean, drawers, cabinets. You know, if you're wanting something to hit the road in, be a, a full-time vanner, this this is not a bad unit you know only thing you might want to put some solar on it what you're going to, have to do that to anything you buy anyway and uh it is fiberglass roof so no worries there got a furnace in it a propane furnace you've got a roof air which i believe is a 13.5 on the btu so needless to say i mean it's blowing out some nice cold air <laughs> in the 40s this is your king size bed, guys. You can see, um, and that's the pop outs. And there's no signs of water damage or leaks in them. So I don't know why in the world they put that a turn bond on it and why they just did one side and not the other. But there's no signs of leaks in here. No soft spots, wrinkled spots, no mildew smells or nothing like that. And of course, you've got the nice overhead cabinets. These are very well built cabinets, too, by the way. They're finished on the inside. You know, these Sprinter vans, because they're not as uh, wide as a road, as a Chevrolet or a Ford van, they usually don't have a king size bed because there's just not enough room, but this one does. And I've got pictures, if you want to go to the ad of the outside storage for underneath this bed. It's got a massive outside storage bay underneath this bed. Uh, up there, you got storage, a little, little shelf there, plenty of lighting, and it does have a bathroom. Well, let's look at that here in a minute. Um, refrigerator this is a straight electric refrigerator does blow cold or not blow cold it's getting cold fridge freezer may not the fridge well it's getting down there it's in the 50s i've only had it on about 45 minutes um and you can see we're negative three in the freezer so definitely it's got a little light in it shelves look good doesn't look that old. Now, the only thing that threw me off was that freezer door. That freezer door is off an 80s or a 90s model, and I think somebody rigged that up for some reason. The Medic um, Rockerwave. Books and manuals are up here, by the way, in case you're looking for them. Your bathroom, of course, it's like all of them. It's what they call a wet bath or what I call the time saver option because you can do it all at one time. Uh, basically, you sit on your commode and take a shower. And guys, I know that may not seem the most comfortable, but here's the thing, guys, is you've only got a little bit of square footage here to work with. 
If you had a bathroom with a completely separate shower from the toilet, the shower would be so small that 90% of the people in the United States couldn't fit in it, much less turn around in it. This way maximizes the available space by letting you take a shower. And all this, you've got a curtain right here, so you don't have to worry about getting anything wet. Uh, you got a little vent fan up here to vent the steam out. Um, that's the most comfortable way to take a shower in this small area. Now that's your thermostat for your furnace. Just, I love the fact they finish these cabinets out. That's cool. Most of them just butt up directly against the wall. This is actually all finished and closed cabinets. Of course, this table is removable. So if you didn't want this table here, you can take it off very, very easily. How about that for easy? <laughs> Bumped it with my knee and it must not have been in there right. I'll put that back on correctly when I get done with the video. So like I said, they don't get much easier than that, does it? <laughs> um, I almost hate to get out of this thing. It's so hot outside. We'll crank up TV antenna. Look at this 12 volt fan. So if you're boondock camping, you don't want to run your generator. Um, that runs off battery. So you can either blow air in from the outside or suck it out from the inside to the outside. 74 hours on the generator, guys. It is a 2.5 propane generator. Um, the reason why it's got 114,000 miles and only 73 hours on generator is most van people don't use generators i'm not saying all of them i'm just saying most of them when you're driving down the road that dash air will keep you comfortable um you know when you're parked you open this uh, and, and you don't want to run a generator you can open this door up right here open this window up have a nice cross breeze uh, especially if you're out in the wilderness somewhere um now generator is nice to have when you need it like when it's blazing hot and you know, you don't want to let your motor idle all night. You can run that generator. Uh, but, you know, as far as what van life people actually do, um, very few of them have generators. Um, but those that do, do enjoy it. So it, it's, it's a two-edged sword. It, you know, it's more weight, a little bit more maintenance, a little more upkeep than you got by propane. But at the same time, when it's, if you're camping in the desert, in the middle of summer it's 130 degrees outside yeah you, it's worth every single penny and then some when you're sitting in your van chilling with that ac on that roof ac and um nice and cool in here while everybody else is sweating to death and yeah you can put solar panels um charge controller inverter you can put the um uh, the good batteries in here lithium batteries, but at the end of the day, there's no way you could generate enough solar power to run an air conditioner um, on a motor home this size. It would take solar panels the size of three of these vans to generate enough power to continuously run a RV roof air on, uh, on compressor, on cool. But you can put you a solar panel up there. In fact, I'm doing it with mine um, just to keep the batteries charged you know, run a TV, uh, maybe run a coffee maker, depending on the size of your inverter, microwave, things like that. So, and um, there's plenty of room up there to do that too, by the way. So you can put you a hundred watt, maybe even a, a, now they got these 300 watts. They're about four feet wide that might fit on there. I'm not sure. Be tight. It'd be tight. Um, but anyway, guys, if you got questions about this fan, give us a call 706-965-7929. If you want to buy this fan, call right now. Well, if it's after six, don't call. Wait till nine o'clock in the morning and call. You can email, you can call after hours, but we're not probably not gonna get a chance to call you back before somebody else calls in to buy it. So, you know, it's like that Airstream. I told everybody, don't email, don't call after hours, don't call before hours. Our phone system turns on at 9 a.m. Eastern time in the morning. This video won't be published till after we close. So everybody's got a shot to buy this van. Um, 57.9 is the haggle-free firm price, includes our four page inspection process, which honestly, guys, this thing doesn't need. I think everything works fine just the way it is, but I know a lot of people aren't comfortable buying something 
used that's not checked out. I can get that. So we do offer a four page inspection process uh, that is done after purchase. But keep in mind guys, right now with the manpower shortage, the part shortage, and the fact we're doing double the business we normally do, don't believe me? Look in the last 10 videos I put on my YouTube channel. I think eight of them say sold. I did some no-bows last night, two new no-bows we got in. Both of them were sold by 10.30 this morning. Um, there, there's a huge demand for RVs and a limited supply. And guys, no doubt in the morning, phones will be ringing off the hook. So have your credit card ready, leave a deposit on it. If you need financing, guys, um, you know, we do offer some financing, um, but more than likely it's gonna go somebody paying cash or somebody that's already arranged their own financing. If it's something you think you're interested in, like I said, get be on your phone at nine o'clock sharp in the morning, not a minute earlier because it won't it won't go it won't go through. But nine o'clock Eastern time, our phones cut on. Call 706-965-7929. Promise you this, guys. If you don't, the next person will. Um, come and look at it. Be here at nine o'clock sharp when we open. If you want to come see it in person, you can test drive it and check it out. And guys, like I said, it will come with our four-page inspection process, but that, like I said, as long as you're willing to wait 30 to 45 days on average, it may be sooner, but I'd rather tell you that and be done sooner than tell you that it takes longer. So that's why they call it average. Um, so 30 to 45 days, if you're willing to wait that. If you're not, guys, take advantage of the option B price. I've already got an incredible price for what this van is in the current market. 57.9 haggle free, but I can give you a lower price if you're willing to take it as is. And that means you can come check it out yourself, inspect it any way you want to, drive it, crank a generator, let the fridge get cold, check the air, check the water system. Um, but I can't fix anything and I'll give you a discount price off that 57.9 price for the option B as is price. But as is means as is guys, we can't fix a thing on it. Um, if you're interested in the option B hackle free price, give us a call first thing in the morning, 706-965-7929. Now that's why I'm showing you in the video that it drives good. I'm showing you the generator runs, the air is cold and the refrigerator is cold and the dash air is cold with no check engine lines. So you know that all the major stuff works. Little stuff you can handle by yourself and the money you save off the 57.9 price will pay for any repairs this unit needs and then still keep money in your pocket. And you can completely use this van just like it sits now. And I'm gonna hang that table back up. You can see there's no damage. It just, you have to slide these in this track a certain way to keep to make it secure. And whoever put this in obviously didn't know that. So make sure I'll do that when I get done with this video. Um, but anyway, guys, thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it. And make sure you smash me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share on social media. Check the listing out on our website, parkwayrbcenter.com. Link in the video description below. There's also a link to our four-page inspection process. If you want to wait the 30 to 45 days and choose to do the option A price. Either way, guys, you need to call. You need to get your name on this unit if you want it. Because if you don't, you're not going to get it. Um, y'all just have no idea how limited the market is on these vans in this price range and there's way more people looking for class b vans to get into the van life than there are used class b vans available and new vans now on the sprinter chassis guys they've gone up probably 40 to fifty thousand dollars in the past 12 months that's right what was it you know you could buy a new airstream for like 140 150 thousand dollars or midwest this time last year, now they're topping out at 200,000 and selling for that. There is no break on MSRP on new vans because 99% of them are already sold before the van is even built. So to even find a new van in stock is not, it, it's, it's rare, much less a used one. Cause this will do everything a $200,000 van will do for a fraction of the cost. So anyway, a lot of life left to it, guys. If you want to come check it out, give us a call, 706-965-7929. You're certainly welcome to email, but please, guys, if you want this van, if you email, you're not going to get it. Call, 9 o'clock in the morning, sharp.
Uh, my guys don't check emails until they answer their phone calls. So um, keep that in mind. I'm just giving you a hit, a hint. Uh, thank you again for watching. Um, comment, share on social media. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, check us out, guys. And look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. I did forget to mention, guys, <laughs> we do have nationwide delivery. Financing is available with approved credit and down payment for well-qualified buyers. Again, um, guys, stay tuned for a test drive. I don't hardly do test drives anymore. I don't have time, but I'm going to make an exception for this one because I want people to see how much power these inline five-cylinder Mercedes-Benz diesels have with 154 horsepower. I mean, literally, it'll run like a car. But hang tight. See you right back here in a second from the driver's seat. All right, everybody. Now we're going to test drive this 2007 Vista Cruiser MB. I like how this is the last year of the 2.75 cylinder diesel. 154 horsepower, but I want to show you that still got plenty of power. Um, of course, it's got the, it's his all Mercedes, Mercedes Benz five speed automatic. A um, lot of power in this and great fuel mileage. A lot of leg room. A uh, lot more than that Rialto we did the other day. Indeed. And of course, I've got Shane helping me out, one of my salespeople. Um, if y'all have any questions about this van, feel free to give him a call or text on a cell phone. What's your number, Shane? 423-347-8478. And y'all can give him a shout. Got any questions about it? So let's take her up the road here. Man, this thing, it's amazing to me the pickup these things have. Yeah, it is. I mean, we're literally at 50 miles an hour just like that. With a 154 horsepower engine. In fact, we can go around some folks if we want to. Fifty-five halfway up the hill without even trying. We'll go ahead and scoot behind him here so we can get on the interstate. Very agile too. I mean, these Mercedes is independent front suspension just and just just holds its own. It, it darts in and out of traffic. About like a car. Yeah, I mean, I'm a big guy, six foot four, got plenty of leg room. Dash air is nice and cold. Everything looks good up here. No squeaks or rattles. Notice how you don't hear any rattling or anything in this compared to like a Class A. I mean, it's just everything's just so well good built and tight in these things. Tires are smooth. And we're going to get on the interstate and see what it'll do. I don't think we'll have no problem hitting 60 before we get on the interstate. Turns good too. You don't feel like you're going to roll over when you hit a turn a little too fast. Getting on it a little bit. Guys, we're already at 60. 60, I mean 70. Um, I could easily hit 75 before we got it going on an uphill entrance ramp. So all kinds of power, guys, and smooth. I mean, just nothing to it. Let's see here. We'll hit the. These things got a different cruise control. It always takes me a minute to figure it out. And cruise control is on. It works. Set to 70. And listen how quiet it is. No wind noise. Especially compared to a Class A or a Class C, which always have wind noise and rattle in it squeaks and bumps. I mean, this thing's just smooth. Doesn't pull to the left or the right. I mean, guys, this thing drives better than most vans do with 40,000 miles on it. I mean, just great. We'll get off the exit here. Cruise works. That dash here is cold, guys. It's 
Wow. This is something you think you're interested in. Like I said, this thing will probably sell in the next 24 hours. Uh, give Shane a call or a text. Shane, what's your number? 423-347-8478. Make sure to smash us a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share on social media. Um, uh, thank you again for watching and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.